Hi, Mikhail. Uh, can we just ask how disappointed is Pep not to be on, on the touchline tomorrow night? Um, and, and how, for you, um, do you feel about the opportunity you know, and, and being on, on the touchline um, and taking charge of the team? Obviously, he's very disappointed. Uh, we all know how much the Champions League means for him. Obviously, it's the first match and it's vital for the group stages. But uh, he had a reaction to something that happened in a big game, you know, and they made a decision. He respects the decision. And this is the situation, you know. He wouldn't choose this situation, but this is what is happening. I'm here. I would try to make um, my best, you know, to try to reduce the impact of uh, not having Pep on the Chorchland. But uh, for the rest, everything is absolutely normal. OK, well, Luke Edwards, Daily Telegraph. Um, Manchester City have a fantastic 12 months, absolutely dominant domestically in the league. To be a great team, though, do they have to win the Champions League? Do they have to have success in Europe? Well, that's the aim. We have a very young squad. I think they've gained a lot of experience in the last two years with the different things that happened in Champions League. And uh, we feel that we are better prepared than the previous two years. But the Champions League... Winning or losing is the small details and we are preparing every single detail to improve what we've done in the past because we believe that we can do better and tomorrow everything is starts. It's a new competition and we know how hard it is to play against the teams in Europe. <coughs> Michael Heights, uh, Martin Ziegler from The Times. If you were uh, Manchester City, I think it was spent, spent more than in any other club on assembling this squad in terms of transfer fees. Um, so that's probably why many people regarding that um, City is the favourites to win the Champions League. Is, is, is that a, does is that make it more difficult for, for the players if they have this expectation? I don't believe that that's the reason why the people think that we can challenge against the top teams. I think the reason is because how consistent we've been in the way we play and uh, and the and the way we play against big teams as well in this competition. But um, after again, it's uh, a very very difficult competition. And tomorrow, I'm sure we'll face a very tough game again. Uh, Mikel, during the summer, there was a lot of talk about you and that you may may leave to go to Arsenal or another club. Do you have ambitions to be a manager in your own right? You are one of the biggest clubs in Europe now. You're competing for the big honours, but you are not the manager, you're the assistant manager. First of all, I'm privileged to be where I am. I feel very fulfilled with the job I'm doing at the moment. If you ask me the question, if in the future one day I will be a coach, the answer will be probably yes, but I'm really happy where I am and I'm really enjoying the moment that I'm living at the club. And I think we are in a fantastic momentum now and there is still a lot of room for this club to grow. So. I'm very pleased where I am. Mikel, Ian Irving from Premier League Productions. What's Pep like to work with? Really good. Really easy. Very hands-on. He leaves room for everybody to express themselves. Very detailed. And I know him for a long time. And uh, we got brought up from Barcelona with the same mentality, with the same philosophy. So we clicked together really well. And uh, for me, it's very easy to work with him. Just a quick question as well about injuries. Sergio Aguero came off, I think, with a foot problem at the weekend or so. Benjamin Mendy missed the match as well. Can you give us any update on those players? We will have the training session now. We will wait uh, how they reacted in the last 24 hours and we made a decision afterwards. So at the moment, I can't give you any answers. The back in training though, both of them? We'll have the training session and see how they are today after training. Thank you. You're welcome. Hello, Mikel. Stuart Hello. Brennan, Manchester Evening News. Uh, last season, you qualified early in the Champions League. How much of a help do you think that was in the season? Very much. Uh, obviously, winning the first game as well is a massive help. We did that against Feyenoord away from home, which is even more important. But uh, again, it's a tough, tough group of stages where we got. We know the clubs, we know Shakhtar really well. We had a chance to play against them last season and we know how difficult they made it against us. But uh, obviously, if you can qualify early, it takes a lot of pressure off. You can rest players for the Premier League and the other competitions. But it's the first game, and, and today we have to be 100% focused to win it. Could I also ask, how will it work tomorrow night? Will you, will you take full charge of the team and Pep will just 
take a step backwards or, or how, how will you work it out between you? Up to now, the preparation has been completely normal. Same process that we always do. The difference tomorrow will be that obviously there are some rules that we will respect where you cannot have any communication. I will be in the touchline and I will try to do and have the right decisions and for the rest, nothing will change. Paul? Paul? Oh. Oh, I, I think my question's already been asked, but I was going to say, are you surprised that Manchester City have been made favourites for this competition? I am surprised when you have a team that's won it three times in a row, but uh, that means that we're doing the, the things really well, you know, that people are really seriously thinking that we are candidates to compete against other teams in Europe, and that's it. That has to be a motivation, not a pressure, and uh, that's the way we take it. And uh, and hopefully again we can improve what we've done in the last two seasons because we came short. Hi, Mikel, Jack Gorn from the Daily Mail. How much are you yourself relishing tomorrow? Because it must be a big, big night, big moment for you. It is. It's a good challenge. Very nice challenge. Obviously, if I had to choose, I would choose Pep to be in the touchline because he does that job better than everybody else. But uh, the people on the bench and myself, we try to reduce the impact give the players what they need, make the right decision, give them the energy that they need to support them on the pitch, and hopefully it will work well. What, what, has, the, what has the manager done for you for your coaching career? Because obviously you're very close and he always has a lot of mm. positive words to say about you. But what are you kind of learning from him? He had a very clear role for me when he asked me to, to join the club because I was in the Premier League for 15 years and, uh, and we knew from before. And uh, we clicked together really, really quickly. We understand each other really well, and we th think in the same direction, you know. So, obviously, my learning here in the last two seasons has been incredible, alongside him and the players and the staff we have, and uh, that will continue always. Hi, I'm Mikel, James Robson from The Standard. Um, during the documentary, Pep said at one point to the team, he thinks they're the best team in the world. Hmm. Is that the feeling at this club? That is. For me, we have the best players in the world, and I look at our players like they are the best. And I see them training every day, I see how they behave, I see how they react against positives and negatives. I know their qualities and I know their weakness. And I wouldn't change my players for any others, you know. They are absolutely fantastic, the group of players we have, the mix we have between senior players and young players, the hunger that there is still in this group is incredible. People talk about other things, like because we have the money to spend, People have to see what is inside this club and the spirit that is being created, which is phenomenal. And given what happened over the summer, did you think that you'd be here now? Or did you oh. think you'd, you'd be here? In asking? football, it's so hard to predict things. Obviously, when things happen, you have to make decisions, and sometimes you don't have time to make the decisions. The uh, decision was made, and I'm so happy with the decision that was made, and I'm, again, very privileged to be where I am. Hola. <coughs> Buenas, Miquel. Paul Ballos. Uh, it, it looks like maybe more than ever, like a lot of top European clubs are, are preparing more than ever to, to face this Champions League. Uh, Juventus has made like a record investment. Atletico de Madrid as well. Real Madrid are the, are the champions. And, and Messi said that, that Barcelona are especially focused uh, on the Champions League. Uh, in your opinion, which are like the main candidates for, for this trophy? It has to be Real Madrid. They have something special toward this competition and they deal with every single detail better than anybody else in this competition. So for me, they are the main favourites. The rest, we have to catch up, we have to learn and we have to make that gap smaller, you know. But uh, I think it's a very open Champions League. I think it was the case last season and I think it will be the case this season and there will be surprises because the, the difference between the team is not that big. Last couple of guys just here. Uh, Mikhail Ben Ransom from Sky Sports News. You mentioned there that you're so happy that you stayed here after the summer. Can you let us know how close did you come to leaving to join Arsenal? Was it a close thing? I didn't talk on that moment two or three months ago and I didn't make any statement. I don't think today is the day to talk about it. Uh, you all know some things that uh, happened, but the reality is that I'm here and I'm very happy. You, you mentioned uh, the team came up short in this competition last season. What lessons do you as, as coaches and players 
take from that and what do you need to do differently this season to, to go all the way? As you said, that's the aim. So uh, there are many aspects. You have to get to the important moment with your players available. You have to pay attention to every detail. You have to be lucky with some of the decisions. You know, you have to have players hitting top form in those moments. You know, you're, you need a lot of ingredients to be able to win the Champions League. And on some of them we came short for one way or the reason. Maybe it was our fault, maybe it was others' faults, but uh, we didn't manage to get where I think we could reach, you know, with the level of football we played last season in this competition. But that's what the, this competition takes. In the moment you make a mistake, five minutes of no attention, you are out. Hi, Mikel. Sam Lee from Goal. Sim similar to that, and you mentioned earlier on that you've improved every single detail. Mm. So it must go very specific. Are there, are there new things you've introduced this season, maybe passing combinations, that kind of thing, that are particularly useful in Europe or you think will be useful in Europe? Well, we are always adapting and evolving the way we play because depending on the players we have available and the new signings we have for players that are leaving, we have to change the systems. And as well, because we can be predictable as well. All the teams now, they have the technology, they have good coaches, everybody to pick the things that you do. So we always have to find the variation to surprise the opponent. And we are always trying to evolve in, innovating and trying to do things that, uh, that the opponents, they don't expect us to do. Mikel, I was interested, you, you picked out, you said Real Madrid are the, the main favourites. Because many people might say that now Cristiano is gone, that that's, that's seriously weakened them. Do you not uh, think that's the case? They won the competition as well without Cristiano, I think, ten times. But obviously, yeah, he was a massive weapon, you know, and he was top scorer every year in that competition. But uh, I don't know, it will be tough for everybody, I think.